Hey guys, Jen here. Nicolette is in training, so this morning I had a nice sleep in morning other than doing fast passes. And uh, trying to tour some resorts today, and I'm going to start out here with Animal Kingdom Lodge where I'm staying. I should have given you guys a tour of the Coronado Springs room I was in, sorry about that, but um, great room. And I'm going to show you some differences while I'm at it, uh, because there's some maybe some myths about some differences in, in the rooms between going from value to moderate, moderate to deluxe. This of course is a deluxe resort and uh, I'm standing here on my balcony. I asked for a standard room or that's what I booked. I wound up getting a Savannah view which is pretty cool. A little bit of pixie dust for me. Um, does it have to do with being a travel agent? Honestly probably not because at Coronado I had a very specific room request and they put me as far away from that as they could. So anyway, um, I'm gonna try and show you guys a little of the savanna here outside my room. Um, maybe, hopefully, you can see some giraffes over there in the distance. There are a couple over there. Uh, I am on the Uzima savanna, um, which honestly is probably my least favorite choice of the four. You've got the Pembe, the Sunset, the Arusha, and the Azima. Arusha used to be its own category that was a bit of an upcharge. It's now just a request. Um, Sunset's probably my favorite. I've, I, it kind of looks, if you're on the uh, Jumbo House side, which if you're at the Lodge or at the Jumbo House, you're going to look out not only on Savannah but also Kidani Village. It, it's kind of uh, in between. Um, Arusha is kind of in a horseshoe, and we're kind of on the end of, of one of the horseshoes. Kidani Village is the DVC property, and between the two, I would say that uh, I like Jumbo House. It has the magnificent lobby. If you haven't seen that, you can definitely Google that. It's easy to find. Um, I won't like take a lot of time to, to show you that. But uh, Kidani has probably the nicer overlooks, the really cozy ones with like fireplace, indoor. The ones here are a little bit different. But if, you, if you're lucky enough to get a Savannah View room, and a lot of these are Savannah Views, uh, it's really cool. Not lit up at night. We got here last night, um, and there was, I think, a, some sort of a deer out there. But it was really hard to see. Uh, in the morning, we had a, a corral of, of uh, giraffes out there, which was kind of neat. I'm coming back into the room now to show you guys some of this. Sorry, this is live, right? So it's not real pretty. Um, one of the things they give you in these rooms is really cool. It's a wildlife spotting guide. So as you're looking out there on the savanna, you can kind of get uh, an idea of what it is you're looking at. Um, another thing to remember is that if you're out there, and, or if you have a savanna view room, one of the things they don't guarantee is that there are animals out there. These animals are roaming free. They can do whatever they want. And so sometimes you're going to get giraffes, sometimes you're going to get zebras, sometimes you might see nothing at all, and, and there's no control over that. Um, let's see. So the room itself. Excuse the mess. I'm traveling with a messy nine-year-old, remember. Uh, so we've got two queen beds, and um, that's going to be a difference between value and moderate and deluxe. Moderate and deluxe are going to have queen beds. Value rooms have double beds. This side of the room, we've got a table and chairs, and we've got, of course, uh, I don't know what you want to call this. It's not an armoire, but it's a TV cabinet anyway. We've got a mini fridge, which is in all resort rooms these days. And we've got a double closet, sliding doors with uh, iron ironing board. We've got, of course, a safe. The safe in this room is a bit bigger than the ones in the moderates. Uh, to give you an idea here, hopefully you can see that. I'm... Uh, it's kind of hard to do Facebook Live when you're trying, trying to turn the phone, along, uh, phone around. Um, the one in the moderate is about half that size. We've got a double vanity sink, granite, very pretty. Now here's some of the, this, it's a beautiful room, don't get me wrong, this is my favorite resort, and especially Savannah View, I think it's fantastic. But it's not perfect, and here are some of the things you may want to be aware of. Uh, the bathroom, when you open this door to the, whatever you want to call it, room with the toilet and the shower, there is almost no clearance between the toilet and the door. It's very snug in here, more so than Coronado Springs, which of course again is a value or a moderate resort. Uh, beautiful shower. Hopefully you're you're getting a decent view of this stuff, and I'm not giving any of you motion sickness. Um, something else though, I'm traveling with my mom who has a scooter, and you would think, or there's a conception I guess that uh, as you go up in category, you're going to get. Uh, more room and maybe square footage wise yes in most cases but feeling wise not always and part of the reason for that is when you walk into a value or a moderate room you're coming from the outside and the door and the window the primary window are next to each other and so that little kind of alcove there where you usually find also your desk or your table and chairs has a bit of um, 
maneuverability space. So if you're traveling with a scooter or a wheelchair or a pack and play or a double stroller you don't want to constantly take down, you've got a little play in that. Uh, whereas in the deluxe room, most of the deluxe resorts have um, interior doors, hallways, which I have right here. When I walk out, I'm into an interior hallway that leads right to the lobby ultimately, although I'm kind of toward the end. Uh, so really, we have almost no room to put a scooter in here. It's, it's very tight in that sense. You could put up a pack and play, but it's still going to be tough to get around uh, just because of the layout of the room. Yes, it's technically bigger, but it doesn't necessarily feel that way. So if you are under the assumption that bigger is always better or deluxe is always better, it really depends on your scenario. Uh, family suites definitely have a larger feel and more maneuverability space. Just because you have a wheelchair or scooter doesn't mean you have to have an accessible room. That would be more for if you have a hearing issue, you need a roll-in shower. But if you are deaf or generally ambulatory, I think they call it, you know, where you can get up and walk around, but you need that scooter, which is my mom's case, um, you just need a place to park it. You can be in a regular room, but in a lot of cases it's going to be snug. But regardless, this is a gorgeous room. It's fantastic. I highly recommend this resort. Um, and let's see, what have I not covered? If you guys have questions uh, about this resort, go ahead and ask them, and I'll definitely answer them. I'm going to go downstairs and see if, I, if they'll let me up to club level so I can give you guys a tour of that. Um, if not, I'll be moving on to another resort, and we'll show you as much as they'll allow me to. So talk to you later. Bye.